outside of wildlife. The Animal Show! And now, let's have a wild welcome for... Your furry friends, Stinky and Jay! Hello, all you cubs out there. I'm Jake. And I am Stinky. And it's Mother's Day here on the Animal Show. It is? Yes, today we're going to meet two animal moms. Oh, my mom? Uh, no, not, not your mom, Stinky, mm. but, but two animal moms who will show us how they raise their children in the wild. Hey, 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 Jake, when was the last time you talked to your mom? Uh, on her birthday. Oh, we Ooh. had a cake, we played pin the pole on the ice cap, and then we... What does this have to do with today's show? Well, if today's show is about moms, I think our moms ought to be here. Oh, well, my mom is out tobogganing with the cubs. Oh, I wonder where my mom is. Uh, just follow your nose. Good idea. <laughs> As I was saying, today we will meet a koala mom, an ostrich mom... And if we're lucky, my mom. Say, you know what? I think I just got a whiff. Lucky us. Uh, we'll be back with somebody's mother right after this. And now it's time for... That's amazing! Today, an animal that will eat almost anything. An ostrich will eat almost anything it can swallow. And don't let that long neck fool you, they can swallow a lot. Ostriches have been known to eat watches, belt buckles, stones and coins, Whoa. as well as grass and flowers like these. Huh. Sounds like another one of them animals that'll make you say, yeah. Uh, That's amazing! Oh, any sign of your mother? Huh? Well, no, not yet, but I did find one of your old socks. Uh, oh, uh, <laughs> oh thanks. Mm -hmm. uh, and now it's time to meet our first mom. Good ideas. <laughs> So nice to be here, Stinky and Jake. Thank you for inviting me. But uh, just one mm. thing. Do you mind mm -hmm. if I say hello to my kids in Australia? Mm. Oh, I miss them so. Oh. Well, you go right ahead, Flora. Mm. On that camera over there. Yeah. Oh, oh that one. Mm -hmm. uh, good day, Sydney, Perth, Adelaide. Mm. Oh, now, Sydney, stop pulling Adelaide's ear. You two behave yourself. Uh, so t tell us, Flora, mm. what's it like being a koala mother? Yeah. Oh, it's a grand life. Watch this. Of course, the most important part of raising good cubs is to find a good tree. Well, what's so important about a tree? Oh, we koalas live, eat and sleep in trees. In fact, you sleep most of the day, right? Are you kidding? With my cubs climbing, howling and stretching all the time? I'm lucky to get 18 hours sleep a day. Only 18 hours? Oh, no wonder you look so tired. Oh, you'd be tired too if all you did all day was feed your kids. Was well, there any special kind of food you koalas eat? Eucalyptus leaves from the eucalyptus tree. And that's handy since we live in the tree. <laughs> hmm, well, you sound like fussy eaters. Oh, you want fussy? You should see my kids. All they eat is eucalyptus leaves. They won't even touch the stems. Have you ever heard of such a thing? Mm. Gee. Yeah. Well, my <laughs> mommy always cuts the crust off my sandwich. Oh, I'm sure she does. You're a good boy. Oh, Flora, I was wondering if you brought any pictures of your children. Pictures of my children? Mm. Oh, of course. Mm. Come here, Stinky, and listen to this. Thank you. Now, that's me, of course, and, and that lump of fur on my back is my daughter Adelaide. She's a love, but ouch! What a grip on that girl. Well, are your children always on your back? Aren't all children? <laughs> no, no, I'm just kidding. Mm -hmm. Actually, our children ride in our pouch right after they're born. Oh. But when they get big enough, they love to climb on board Mum. Ah. Mm. Oh, look! There's my boy, Sydney, climbing uh -huh. on board me right now. Oh, oh, he's a love. Uh, who's that? Oh, that's Dad with our oldest boy, Perth. They're looking for a new eucalyptus tree to eat from. Hmm. Well, thank you, Flora, oh, for... Sh 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 he's asleep. Oh, well, uh, thanks again for coming by. It was a pleasure to meet your family. Oh, the pleasure was all mine. Mm. Bye, Jake. Bye, 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 Stinky. Bye. Bye, Flora. Yeah, whatever we do, uh, we don't want to wake him up. <laughs> Man, is uh, it you? Uh, 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 mm. uh, <clears throat> now it's time for baby dog. Oh, Are you stuck? Yeah, I'm stuck. This is ridiculous. It's not like we're fat or anything. No, in fact, you are very skinny. So are you. Should we be this thin? I don't know. 
I guess we'll grow once we've been born. No, I'm not so sure. Mum looks pretty thin to me. I'm not your mom. I'm your dad. What are we doing coming out of your tummy? Aren't mommy supposed to have babies? Yes, but you see, I've got a pouch, and your mommy laid her eggs in my pouch. Oh, I get it. I think. So what do we do now? I think it's time you got out of there. Oh, okay, oh, go on. Okay, go let on. me let me try. Go on. Uh, oh. One more. You, yes. Uh, yes. Oh. yes. Let me. Oh. You can do it. Hang on. Go. 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 Well, you're a baby pipefish. What's a pipe? It's a long, thin thing. Like us. Exactly. I get it. Got it. Good. And now it's time for a bird's eye. Oh, Mommy, I want my blankie, I uh, think. Shh, yeah. it's right here. Oh, and now you. it's time for a bird's eye view of feathers. Ah. <laughs> at the front. And the kangaroo's babies ride in its pouch until they are almost too big to be carried. Now the seahorse is not a horse, but a kind of fish that has a horsey looking head. And you might not have guessed it, but the seahorse has a pouch too. A female crocodile also has a pouch. It's in the floor of her mouth. She uses it to transport her baby crocodiles down to the water soon after they are born. A mama crocodile can carry as many as seven or eight babies in her mouth. Believe it, cause it's true. And now here's Eve St. LaRoche to show us the latest recipe for eucalyptus leaves. Shh. Oh. Ah, bonjour, bonjour. Today, I have been asked to make a meal for all of you koalas out there. But first, hello, mama. Your little Rochi misses you. Now, as I was saying, koalas will only eat one thing, eucalyptus leaves. But I did not believe this. So, I did my own research. I asked 4,000 koalas would they rather eat eh, chicken nuggets with the barbecue dip tread bone or eucalyptus leaves. And they answered 
eucalyptus leaves. Hmm. But I, Yves Saint could not believe such a thing. So I asked 4,000 other koalas. Would they rather have a delicious deep pan pizza with pepperoni, anchovies, and extra mozzarella, or eucalyptus leaves? And they went for the eucalyptus leaves. Oh, well, I was not worried because I knew I had a wonderful choice of dessert. Mm. So, I asked these koalas, would they rather have strawberries and cream or eucalyptus leaves? And at last, this time they went for <laughs> the eucalyptus leaves. Oh, well, alas, it is true. Koalas will only eat eucalyptus leaves. But this does not worry me because it leaves me with my favorite meal of chicken nuggets, pizza, and strawberry and cream. Ah, oh, mm, oh, oh, yes. Oh, mm, 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 bon appetit. Well, it looks like Stinky's gonna sleep through the rest of the show. So now we can enter. Oh, that was such a good nap, Mommy. I. Mommy? You're not my mommy! Well, hey, uh, what did you uh, do with my stinky, mommy? Stinky, Stinky, what? Stinky, Stinky. What? Your mommy isn't here now. Oh. But, but, but I know what you can do. Huh? Why don't you ask her to come for a visit? Whoa, that's a great idea, Jake. Yeah. All right, uh, <laughs> Ma, hey, Ma, it's me, your little stink butt. Come on, I miss you. Why uh, don't you come visit me, uh, please? Uh, oh, come on, uh, Ma. Uh, excuse, excuse, me, excuse, hmm? excuse me, excuse me, excuse uh, me. Could I continue? Oh, certainly. Thanks. And now we shall meet another animal mom, Lydia the Ostrich. Is this the place? Oh, oh my! Oh, look at all these lights! Oh, oh gee, oh, this is so exciting! Ooh, I... I, I hope I'm not late. No, you're right on time. So oh. glad you could make it, yeah. Lydia. I still don't understand why you want to talk to me, though. I'm mm -hmm. just an ostrich. Well, Lydia, you're going to tell us how ostriches raise their children. My children! Oh, I'd love to talk about my children. <sighs> oh, now let's see. That's my sister. Oh, doesn't she look good? Oh, Ooh. she looks lovely. Whoa! Those are some big eggs there. Oh, yes. Ostrich eggs are bigger than any other bird's eggs, you know. Ah, my friends and I all lay our eggs in the same nest. Then one ostrich can take charge of sitting on the eggs until they hatch. <laughs> I can sit on as many as 20 eggs at a time. And there are the results your ostrich chicks have hatched. Oh. Mm. But you have to make sure you check all the eggs, because there are still some there that need hatching. I sit on the eggs part of the day, and the daddy ostrich sits on them for the rest of the day. And yeah, now once your chicks are born, do you spend a lot of time with them? Of course. They like to go out and explore. They'll go off looking for plants and seeds and fruits and insects and other good things to eat. But they never wander too far from me or their dad or from my brothers and sisters. Oh, that's my boy Norbert! Uh, I bet he's looking for a shady spot. Sure. It can get hot out there on the plains. He found it! Under his dad. Hey, way to go, Norbert! Uh uh-oh, Dad's moving. Don't worry. Norbert and his cousins will find that shade again. Oh, go for it, Norbert. Come on. Oh. <laughs> well, Lydia, we, we've talked about your children, but we haven't heard much about you. Oh, stop. There's nothing to say. Well, sure there is. I understand you're quite a fast runner. Well, Ooh. yes. Uh. We ostriches can run pretty fast. Since we don't fly, it's the only way for us to get around. Oh, gee, I hate to say anything, but it looks to me like your legs are moving kind of slow. Stinky, this is slow motion. Ah, uh, I knew that. Uh, having those long legs must help. Oh, yes. Sometimes we use our legs to kick and defend ourselves, but mostly we use them to run. We ostriches can run as fast as 30 miles per hour for up to 20 minutes. Whoa, Whoa. that's faster than a skunk on a toboggan. <laughs> Why, thank you. <laughs> Lydia, you're fast, strong, and a great mother. With all those talents, why are ostriches so shy? Yeah. I guess we'd rather keep to ourselves. Oh. Oh. Well, is that why ostriches stick their heads in the sand? Oh, that's not true. We don't really do that. Oh, you don't? Let me tell you about it. You just sit right there. Where? And here's Lydia singing the ostrich song. I am shy, I'm so shy, but there in the nest are the 
things I do best, I lay eggs. With a mate by my side, I can look on in pride as the family together gets on with its life. A job for the husband, a job for the wife. I don't want the spotlight to shine down on me. If a boy is a bush, then I'm quite a tree. I can't fly, don't ask why. But boy, I can run like a son of a gun And these things, they call wings Well, they're no use at all, so they made me this tall But the story that's tallest in all of the land An ostrich won't bury its head in the sand The last one who tried to do something like that Saw all of his feathers end up as a hat Oh, cry, did he cry? His natural good nature was put to the test why? That's why I, I'm just an ostrich who does what an ostrich does best. Oh, got carried away there. Sorry. <laughs> Ooh, Lydia is swell. She's very nice. I can't wait for my mom to meet her. And while we're waiting for your mom, let's see who won today's Animal Awards. Thank you, Jake. Today's Animal Award is for the fastest runner on two legs. Yeah. Is it the ostrich? Do ostrich. Or people? Ah, oh, could be the people, that's true, yeah. Or the road runner? Ah, well, there's a definite possibility there. In third place at 15 miles per hour are people. In second place at 26 miles per hour, the road runner. And that means the winner of today's Animal Award running at more than 30 miles per hour, the ostrich. Yeah. Congratulations, Ostrich. And now it's time for a story. Oh, hey, Jake. My mom always reads me a story. Will you read me a story? Oh, I was just about to read a story. Well, why did you stop? Well, because you... Uh, never mind. Uh, <clears throat> Once upon a time, there was a cuckoo who found the nest of another bird, a little warbler. Well, the cuckoo took one of the warbler's eggs out of the nest and put one of her eggs in its place. Now, when the baby cuckoo hatched, it pushed all the other warbler eggs out of the nest. Well, when that mama warbler got back, she was very upset. All my eggs are missing, she said. But, oh, look, here's a baby. And the mama warbler took care of that baby cuckoo and fed it every day. And the baby cuckoo grew and grew and grew. Now, by the time that young cuckoo grew up, it was much larger than the warbler. Wow, said the mama warbler, this is one big baby. When the cuckoo got big enough, it flew away to Africa. But it always came back to visit its dear loving mother, Mama Warbler. The end. Oh, uh, that story reminds me of my mom. Because you drove her cuckoo? How did you know? Lucky guess. Uh, oh, what happened? Oh. It's hey. habitat time! Oh, no. Time for this otherwise happy chicken off to go gallivanting across the globe to bother other animals. Right. Hey. And wait till you hear where we're going today, Armstrong. Home? Mm-mm. Mm. We're going down under. Down under what? Down under. That's what some folks call Australia, because mm. it's down under the southern hemisphere of the world. What? Won't we fall off if we go down under? Ah, don't be silly. Mm. No one has ever fallen off the earth. Yeah, well, there's always a first time. Uh, come on, we are going to Australia. Oh, Australia. Mm. Here we are, in Australia. Hmm. Hey. Hey, uh, what's my teddy bear doing here? And that's not your teddy bear. Those are koalas, a kind of animal that only lives in Australia. Hmm. Oh, and here's another. Oh. The kangaroo. Oh. Now that's pretty unusual looking, isn't yeah. it? Whoa. Look at him jump! Hey, hey, hey. Uh, boing, boing, hey. boing. You know what? I wonder if they got room in that pouch there to give a chicken hawk a ride. Excuse <laughs> me, Mr. Kangaroo. Excuse me. Uh, hello? <laughs> uh, he's not, uh... Nah. Hey, come on, Armstrong. I really want to show you this. Whoa, and what is that? A walking bristle brush? That is an echidna. You kidding her? <laughs> you kidding me? <laughs> no, a 
echidna have sharp front claws and a long pointy nose and dig into ants' nests. Yeah, well, why would they want to do that? So they can eat the ants. Mm. Sometimes echidna are called spiny anteaters. Hmm. Huh. Woo, what happened here? Is that a duck or a beaver? Whoa. Neither. It has a beak and webbed feet like a duck and a body like a beaver. But it's neither a duck nor a beaver. It's a duck-billed platypus. Oh, a platypus. Mm. Mm. It feeds on mollusks and frogs. Huh. Oh, there's another one. Oh, yeah, look at him down there. He's yeah. underwater. Oh, and um, hmm. ah, that is called a sugar glider. Oh, well, how sweet. Mm. Sugar gliders have flaps of skin between their front and hind legs. Oh, yeah? And when they stretch out, this acts like a parachute, so they can glide from tree to tree. What about <laughs> oh, that? this one's taking a little bit easy today. Yeah. Whoa, hey, look, look, I have more kangaroos. Ooh, mm. That kind of kangaroo is called a red kangaroo. I can see why. Mm -hmm. Look yeah. at it race. Wow. Wow. Oh, 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 I know what that is. That is an ostrich. No, that's an emu. Emus and ostriches look alike, but ostriches live in Africa and emus live in Australia. Really? Mm-hmm. Well? Well, for Habitat Time, this is Ollie the Tapir. And I'm Strong the Chicken Egg. So long! Bye. Oh, hello, Tizzy. Stinky, you're awake. Hope you're ready for Tizzy's quiz, because here it is. <laughs> of these animals lays eggs? Is it the platypus, the spiny anteater, the hummingbird, or the crocodile? Give it a think. Back in a buzz. Ooh, have you been busy? Did you guess which ones lay eggs? Well, we know that a bird lays eggs. Yeah, but we're not so sure about the others. <laughs> Here comes the answers. The platypus, the spiny anteater, the hummingbird, and the crocodile all lay eggs. Believe it, because it's true. Thank you, Tizzy, for another great quiz. And thank you, Ollie and Armstrong. Bye. Right, see ya. Take it easy. And Eve. <coughs> Au revoir. And a special thanks to Flora the Koala and Lydia the Ostrich for being with us today. <gasps> That's all for today, except a very special visit by Stinky's Mommy. Oh, no, what? Mommy! <gasps> Stinky! Mommy! Stinky! Oh, 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 I recognize that stink anywhere. Oh, and you stink so good. Oh, see you next time. Hey, Jake, this is my mommy. Oh, nice. <laughs>